Hello, everyone, and welcome to this morning yoga routine class. It will last 10 minutes. Uh, my name is Caroline. I'm a vinyasa yoga teacher in Paris, and I'm now today in a beautiful place, which is the Club Med Cefalu in Sicily. So welcome, and please join me during this 10 minutes practice. We start standing straight on our legs. Uh, I invite you to spread your finger, your feet, sorry, wider than your hips. Your heels will be uh, inside, and your toes will be pointing slightly out. Okay, so we start with uh, a bit of dynamic exercise. I want you to wake up. I want you to breathe. And if you feel that you need to breathe through your mouth, why not? Okay, it's no problem. We're starting the day, but just bring oxygen within your body. Okay, so as you're opening your feet outside, press your feet down. Inhale, arms up. Maybe look up if balance is fine. And exhale down into squat, yogi squat, malasana. Okay, we'll do this movement 10 more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One up and down. Stay down in your malasana and start pushing the elbows against your knees so you can open heart and chest. Crown of your head up to the sky and release. Place the palm of your hands forward. Bring your feet parallel. Lower your belly on your sides if you need and hold opposite um, elbows. Release your forearm and unroll your spine by pushing the feet down. Take the time you need to unroll your spine and come up. Okay, we'll bring more uh, flexibility and mobility here in our shoulders by doing circles with our arms. So keep breathing during this exercise. Sometimes I see people getting so red. No holding. Change side. Both arms up. Bend your uh, left elbow, bring the palm of your hands in between your shoulder blades, and with the opposite hand, start bringing the hands in between your shoulders. Reach for the sky, inhale, and exhale, start folding to the side. Inhale, come up, extend both arms, bend your opposite elbow, hands is reaching for the elbow, and do the side stretch. Inhale, open your arms, and release. Okay, we'll come at the front of our mat, spread your feet hip width distance so you're firmly grounded. Inhale, come all the way up with your arms, look up, exhale, fall forward, maybe bending your knees if needed, it's morning, so your hamstring might feel tight. Inhale, half way up, straight legs or bent knee, exhale, hands on the floor, walk into your downward facing dog, the first one of the day, maybe bending the knees if needed, but keep pushing away the floor from you. With your hands, relax your head, breathe your three. At the movement that you need, if you feel like you need to move, two. Again, one, come back in downward facing dog if you were moving, and on the next inhale, reach for the sky with your right leg. Bend your right knee, bring the right foot forward in between your hands. Release the back knee down, inhale, and exhale, hands on the floor. Keep the contact belly to thigh, inhale, look forward. Exhale, start straightening your front leg. Maybe not fully, it's morning. Two more times. Inhale, bend. And exhale, back. Again, one more time. Inhale, bend. And exhale, back. Maybe relax your head and stay here. Three. Keep your front foot flex. Two. Again, one. Bend your front knee. Place both palms of your hands on the floor and extend the back leg. Coming to easy twist. Feel here your right butt is reaching for the left heel. Stay here. Relax your hands down. Bring your hands down. Come into plank. And here we do here. Maybe chaturanga if you feel like to. Maybe knees, chest, chin. Inhale, push into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do the opposite side. Next, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend your left knee to your forehead and down. Release here your right knee down on the mat. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands down, belly to your quad. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, start straightening your left leg. Inhale, bend the front knee. Exhale, back. Again, inhale up, and exhale back. Stay here, three, 
two, and one. Inhale, bend the front knee. Push the, the hands on the floor. Open the left arm up. Is a twist. Stay here. Hands down. Plank. Maybe knees chest chin. Maybe chaturanga. Inhale, press the floor on the with your hands. Squeeze the elbows in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Okay. Bring your knees down on the mat. Bring your feet together to the center of your mat so you can come sit it on your heels. Uh, we'll do here a bit of mobility work, so it's a bit fun. You might fall a bit. It's okay. But it's a nice way of finding your movement um, during your practice and working in your stability, engagement, and all those things. Okay, so you sit it here on your heels, reach for the sky with the crown of your head, and then start bringing uh, the weight on your heels, open here, the knee out, and open your arms forward, like you're trying to hold something very precious in between your hands. Inhale, bring both knees down, push the hips forward, open heart and chest, squeeze your glutes so you're pushing the hips forward, and exhale back, heels on the sit on your heel. We'll do the same movement three more times. Inhale, push, exhale. Again, inhale, push, exhale. One more time. Inhale, push, and exhale. Try here to sit as slowly as you can on the floor and bring here, come sit in into the middle of your mat, at the middle of your mat. Okay, so we'll do another mobility uh, exercise. Just make sure you have enough space behind you. And we'll alternate alasana with badakunasana. So it's a bit of a fun thing to wake up and and a bit blur your um, your marks uh, on your mat. So it's, it's, again, it's a nice way of challenging yourself in the morning. So when you're ready, start lowering your uh, spine on the floor and bring your hips over here, your shoulder, Halasana, but not so far because it's just the morning. And exhale, both feet together, knees open, fold into Baddha Konasana. Okay, we'll do it three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Two. Exhale. One. And exhale. Stay here in Baddha Konasana. Press your feet against each other. Feel the nice opening in your hips as you're relaxing your head. Stay here. Three, two, and one. Nice. Okay. You can cross your legs and come here into plank pose. So we'll work a bit on our core now after working mobility, after stretching a bit. Press firmly the both hands on the floor and don't let your butt come up, okay? It's a richer version of your hips. Navel in. Okay. Come on to the side of your uh, right foot. Open the left arm up. Side plank. Press firmly the right hand on the floor as you're reaching for the sky with the left hand. Stay here. Three, two, one. Change side. Both feet flex. Maybe one feet in front of the other is going to help you. It's going to be easier. Three, two, one. Right forearm on the floor, side plank, three, two, one, change side, three, two, one, release the whole body on the floor and come into sphinx pose. So sphinx pose, the elbows under your shoulder, press here the palm of your hands on the floor, it's like you're bringing your elbows closer to your body, open heart and chest, nice little back bend. Stay here, three, press the top of your legs on the floor, two, again, one, you may want to go deeper now by pressing the hands on the floor, maybe fully extending your arms, maybe not. The further away you're going to be from yourself, the less um, pressure you'll feel in your spine, okay? If you're more bendy, you can bring your hands a bit closer to yourself. Inhale, exhale, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your elbows just above the floor and stay here. Press the hand on the floor. Three, two, one. Release. Okay. 
Forehead on the mat, open here your uh, arms to each side of your body. And press here, bend by bending, sorry, your right elbow, press the right hand at the, on the floor so you can come onto your left shoulder and come on the side of your body. So it's a nice shoulder opening. Take your three, two, one, come back to center, switch side. One, come back to center and press into chai pose. Relax your forehead. Relax your arm, palm of your hands facing up, and stay here. We came to the end of our practice today. But I invite you before stepping into your day to close your eyes, take some time here, and set the intention for the rest of your day. You took time this morning to practice, move your body, come back here to the surface of your skin, come back to the sensation within your body, to come back to your own well-being. So, while you have some time here, can you dedicate maybe a cause, something that you want to get towards to? That's the intention. You can unroll your spine when you're finished and placing hands in front of our third eye as a thank you for sharing our practice and sharing our energies together this morning. Namaste.